and competed the way we competed today, we was going to come out with a victory. Dave, you said the other day that both Kyron and Rodney were still struggling. Obviously, they both came up pretty big. At our shoot around today, I thought we had great pop. I thought we had good energy. Um, but more importantly, I listened to the conversation of the young men. You know, when, when you know you got a good vibe for your team, you got a good feel for your team based on conversation and preparation. Uh, a lot goes into it. A lot of prep goes into it. I thought our staff did a really good job in the team meetings and our staff meetings, preparing the guys emotionally, physically. Uh, but you know, it's just a feeling um, on conversation from our from our shoot around this afternoon. Anything to get Rodney going in the second half? Just tell him to shoot the ball. You know, I mean, Rodney's been here longer than you've been, you know, reporting. You know, uh, he, he played, he played, probably played for Coach Gavin. You know, he, he, he's old as hell. All right, well, Naismith, right? but it's, it's, you have to coach confidence every single time in our business. You know, you don't tell guys what they can do, you encourage them to do what they do. And he's a scorer, shoot the ball. Ed, were you thinking to buying a certain amount of minutes after Chiron got his fourth foul? Right now, at this time of the year, I'm not worried about minutes. I mean, it is do or die situation here and from out. Um, they're 18 and 22 year olds. If they're tired, they can be tired when they graduate. No, I'm not sitting anybody. No, with, fall, with four fouls, were you thinking about seeing if you can buy a couple extra minutes? We, did. We, we, we went offense and defense as much as we could, you know, when the clock stopped defensively, trying, you know, because Jay is, you know, a Hall of Fame coach. I mean, he knows people have fouls. Uh, they try to isolate some situations. So, you know, you're playing chess, okay? Who's going to match up here? Who's going to match up here? Uh, you know, he, to me, I think he's the best college basketball coach in the country. What would you say to the group at halftime after, you know, even though it was a defensive rock fight, you guys were up still? What would you Trust, say to the group? Uh, believe, continue to play ball screen defense. Um, you know, stay alert to their threes. You know, body on body when you play Villanova. They're, they're so talented. They drive the ball. But again, playing on the road is tough. You know, it's, it's tough. I don't care who you're playing. You go on a road and then you come into an environment like this, you know, and, and what we represented today, the pink out, I appreciate all of our fans for wearing that and, and the awareness of breast cancer, but more importantly, cancer in general, the research that's been done. Many of our lives have been affected by cancer. And I think the more research we can have, the more money that we can pour into research, young men and women that we may not know today or tomorrow can be healed from it. And it hit us really close to home the past year. Um, and this game's dedicated to all those men and women, children, and families that have been affected by it. Alpha, is this one of these games that you maybe envisioned when you came here, packed house, number three team across the way, energy screaming off the walls? Is this the kind of game you signed up for when you came here? Definitely. Um, it was a great crowd tonight, and we appreciate that a lot. Um, high school coming in, I, I knew the dunk gets sold, sold out uh, almost every game, and I was just basically in awe of all the fans and how basically they gave us so much energy, and we appreciate that. Alpha, what did you do when they charged the court? Did you duck out? Did you get into the middle of it? What was that you know, like with everyone around you? Um, I couldn't duck out in time. <laughs> I seen Kyrie just start sprinting. but. Uh, <laughs> Um, I was just right there in the middle of it, and everyone was just jumping up, and we was just celebrating together, and that's what Friday time is all about. Coach, I'm sorry if, you, if this was asked before, but what, what was the key for you stopping their three-point shooting? I attention to detail. You know, I thought our defense was good. You know, they, they missed some open shots. I thought we missed some open shots, but, you know, just trying to pay attention to detail. They've had four or five games this year where they had 15-plus threes. Um, they're a great three-point shooting team, great offensive, efficient team. They put you in an awkward situation because they have multi-positional players, uh, and that's the way you know the game is being played right now. With stretch five men, stretch four men, uh, multi-positional guys, and that's and I think Alpha is one of the best in our league at being able to play five different positions, um, and that's that's a fun way to play. We beat an unbelievable team today, and and, and the thing I'm more proud of, more so than anything that I've coached is coming off the way we play. You know, I, I, what is, what, I don't even know what day today is. I know we played over the weekend, you know, four days. So you look at that and the turnaround emotionally. So when you go through the games that we just went through in this league, emotionally, for our players to respond the way they did, it's almost like a dad. 
you see your kids, they're hurting. You don't want to be negative. You pick them up. Your voice has to be very even keel, but you tell them how proud you are of them because today is a proud moment, a really proud moment. Alf, what did you guys do defensively with Jalen? He had uh, Jalen Brunson had seven turnovers. I know you saw a lot of time. Did you think you could speed him up a little bit, or was it just being physical? Um, 